In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build a nutrition plan in the easiest way possible that's going to allow you to gain significant amounts of muscle mass as a basketball player, even if you've tried to gain muscle before and failed. I've been there. I've tried to gain muscle in the past back during my playing career. I get it. I get the struggle of being a basketball player trying to put on some muscle mass. It's hard. You're burning a lot of calories. Your metabolism is super, super fast. Your genetics might not be working for you in your favor. And like I said, it can be a struggle. So in this video, in this video series, I want to outline literally from start to finish how you're going to build a nutrition plan that's going to help you build muscle. And a nutrition plan is actually going to be effective and something that you can stick to because the first thing, the first mistake I see guys make literally every time is that they overcomplicate this. They start following all these fancy strategies and over complex concepts and it scares them, it overwhelms them, it confuses them and maybe you stick to it for a week or two but then it gets overwhelming, it gets confusing and you stop. And as we know, nutrition the success of your nutrition plan is predicated on your ability to actually follow through with it and stick to it. So. In this video, in this video series, we're gonna take you through exactly how to set it up, literally step-by-step, step, the same process I use with my college athletes, my pro athletes, and all the other guys and girls that I work with trying to really maximize their performance on the basketball court and gain muscle. And it's really important to start with the fundamentals. I always like to explain this in terms of basketball because you relate to it. Think of it like starting with your layups. You're not gonna shoot, you're not gonna pull up from three in transition before you can actually make a layup consistently. It's the same thing here. I see hoopers all the time start to pull up from three with their nutrition plan, doing all, like I said, all these complex strategies without getting the fundamentals, without mastering the layups and the stationary ball handling and all the basic stuff that you know you need to actually be successful at the highest level. So same thing here. In the first step, all I want you to do walking away from this video is get a meal schedule in place. Like I said earlier, meal timing itself is more of an advanced topic that isn't gonna influence your results that much. So I'm not really concerned about how you spread them out throughout the day or the specific times relative to your workouts and all that more complex stuff. Literally, all I want you to do is eat at consistent times throughout the day. This will help you get on a consistent meal schedule. And odds are, if you go from eating one to maybe three times per day inconsistently on average, to eating three, four, or five times per day on average, pick somewhere between the three to five meals per day range. That's what I find to be most successful with the athletes that I work with. If you're going from one to two meals on average, or even three meals on average, to four to five meals on average, and you're trying to gain muscle, because we know you've got to be in a calorie surplus, that little tweak, that little tiny tweak with your meals now automatically increases your calorie intake and makes it much more likely that you're in a calorie surplus. So then the question comes in, how many meals should I have? And does it matter what times that I eat at? And, and like I just said a few seconds ago, anywhere between three to five meals per day, two is gonna be tough to eat your calories. You definitely don't wanna go with one per day. And more than six, so if you go more than five, like six, seven, you can if you want, but there really is no extra benefit to that. That's gonna be hard. You're always gonna be eating throughout the day. You're gonna be grazing, and it might not be the easiest thing for you to stick to. So typically what I see work best in my practice working with pro athletes is three to five meals per day. And don't stress about what specific time, like whether it's at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. that you have breakfast. I don't really care. I just want you to get consistency because that foundation of consistency is going to be the base, the bedrock, the foundation that we build off of in each and every step going forward. All right, a quick question before we move on. How many meals are you eating per day right now? Drop a comment down below. Let me know. I, I want to know so that way I can kind of help see like see where you're at and best be able to help you going forward. And then subsequently, the next question that always comes up is, okay, cool. I'm eating at these times. What should I eat at those meals? For now, I don't want you to worry about that at all. Just eat whatever you want. Eat the same things you would normally be eating. Ideally not junk food, but if you're eating junk food right now, don't focus on switching that. Just focus on getting the consistent meal schedule in place. And then in the next video is where we'll actually discuss how to build out the ideal meal. So be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and if part two is already up, it'll be up here on the screen right now. If it's not, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. And I will see you in the next video.